the ultimate question is, is the Fellow O the be end and end all? Is it the perfect grinder for at home coffee brewing? What's going on fellow coffee lover? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the coffee loving community. Today we're talking coffee grinders, specifically the fellow oat. The fellow oat has been my daily drip coffee grinder for the last five months now, and I wanna bring you guys a review. Everything I like about it, the things I don't like about it, and maybe offer some opinions on whether you should pick up this grinder. If you're on social media, chances are you've seen it all over Instagram, all over TikTok, and even all over here on YouTube. So you're probably wondering if you should go ahead and splurge on this bad boy. Is it the the king of grinders? Is it worth the money? Is it overpriced? We're gonna get into all of that here today. I got my vanilla iced coffee in a mason jar because I'm basic and we're ready to dive into this review. So let's go. Now, if you don't know much about the Fellow Ode or Fellow products in general, let me give you a bit of history on the grinder. It was actually launched on Kickstarter of all places back in 2019, and it was backed for full price within minutes. In fact, it maxed out at $1 million in funding on Kickstarter. So as you can imagine, this was one of the most highly anticipated grinders in 2019 and early 2020. There was a lot of hype behind it, and if you know anything about Fellow products, you know that they built beautiful, reliable, amazingly sleek coffee products for the home brewer in mind which if you're watching this video right now you probably are you like to brew a nice cup of coffee at home so you probably already have some fellow products on your bar and if you don't you should probably look into getting some. This grinder is built like an absolute beast. It's pretty much all aluminum. There's only very few plastic parts like the lid here, which has a really cool handy dosing guide also. So it's built like a beast. It's built to last and maintain, and it's touted as having basically commercial level grinding capabilities, which is amazing. It's got 64 millimeter flat burrs inside of this bad boy. Important to know, it is a single dosing grinder. So you're not gonna dump an entire bag of beans. The max capacity it can hold is 80 grams. And I've actually even tried to put that like I've tried to go right to 80 grams and I had some issues so I would stick less than 50 or 60 grams but the good thing is that's actually better for your beans it keeps your coffee fresher so single dosing is actually better here you just need to put in the amount that you're using for the cup of coffee that you're looking to brew just by looking at this machine you can tell it is absolutely beautifully designed and like I said it is a power horse it's sleek it's minimalistic it's gonna fit perfectly on your counter it's not gonna take up a massive footprint it'll fit on your brew bar or even right underneath your countertops so it's perfect that way it's much smaller than say the niche grinder or the Barazza Encore which is great in my humble opinion and another thing that I absolutely love about this grinder is how simplistic it is there is one button one button on this grinder and it's the the thing that makes it go whoosh the thing that makes it grind the beans right there you simply put your beans in the hopper put that down pick your grind setting depending on what you're using it for hit the go button it's gonna grind the beans in a matter of seconds it'll grind about 20 grams of coffee in five seconds 30 grams in about seven to ten seconds which is fantastic and then you just take it off it's got this beautiful little container for catching the grounds mine's a little bit dirty because we just ground some coffee in this bad boy and here's a really cool feature that a lot of people were really hype about this is actually magnetic which is awesome so you're gonna put it right there and bam just goes in just like that another amazing feature is it's got an automatic on off so it knows when it's done grinding which is great for me and anyone who is forgetful and maybe wanders away while their coffee is grinding top of being simplistic, minimalistic, super well built, it's going to grind quickly, it's going to grind quietly, and it's going to give you very consistent grind results, which is super important when you're brewing coffee at home. The grinder is arguably the most important piece on your brew bar because consistent grounds are key to making a good cup of coffee over and over and over again. If your grinder is messing up your grounds and giving you all kinds of different results, you're going to get not so good tasting coffee. So this bad boy is going to give you very consistent grounds quickly, quietly. I haven't had a ton of problems with this myself because I normally do a pour over with a Chemex or a French press and grind more coarse. A lot of people think that it does not grind quite fine enough with their settings. The burrs just don't get the job done. It's not going to grind you fine enough for espresso and a lot of people struggle with getting it fine enough for a single V60. 
Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it comes with a really handy grind guide depending on what brewing method you are using. It's got everything from AeroPress to French press to cold brew to cupping. All kinds of things are covered in this, but I would recommend going a little bit finer than even their guide suggests just because, like I mentioned, a lot of people don't think it grinds fine enough, so you need to err on the side of caution. For a while after I got the Fellow Ode, I was grinding a little bit too coarse because I was just following their guide. But after doing a little bit more research, talking to some other people, and testing it out myself, I realized I needed to fine up my grind. So if you're cool with going a little bit finer uh, than what they recommend, then that shouldn't be an issue for you. But like I did mention, it's not going to be fine enough for espresso. So if you are primarily an espresso drinker, you need a different grinder than the Fellow Ode. Another so-called issue or bone to pick with the Fellow Ode is the static on this guy. Unfortunately, this lid does just not mix super well with coffee grounds, so you can get a little bit of a mess when it's grinding. I have found that my grounds do go a little bit everywhere. Now, if you splash a little drop of water in there and mix it with the beans, that will help to greatly reduce the amount of static, but as it currently sits just straight out of the box, the static is not ideal on this guy. So there is gonna be a little bit of a mess. So those are really the two big things that are kind of the downsides of the Fellow Ode. Of course, the question remains, is the Fellow Ode grinder the perfect grinder for at-home brewing? Is it the B end and end all? Should you throw out whatever other grinder you're using and immediately splurge and pick up a Fellow Ode grinder? Personally, I have really loved my experience with the Fellow Ode. It's quick, it's quiet, it gives me consistent grinds, it's got that automatic on-off feature, and I really have not had many complaints about it. So if you're making primarily drip or pour over coffee, I think you are absolutely gonna love the Fellow Ode. It's an absolute beast, it's small, it's compact, huge fan of it. On the flip side, if you are an espresso drinker or you are someone who wants it on that fine a setting, you may find yourself disappointed and it. The Fellow Ode might not be the ultimate grinder for you. The Fellow Ode grinder definitely does not cover all the bases, as I've mentioned in this video. And sure, some people do think it has some faults in terms of grind settings, but overall, I have been extremely happy with it. And if you are someone who seriously makes a ton of coffee at home, specifically drip or pour over coffee, then the Fellow Ode is definitely worth the price tag and definitely worth the upgrade over something like the Barata encore in my humble opinion. Now in full transparency and fairness to fellow products, they are releasing a couple updates for the fellow Ode. One is they're changing up the burrs a little bit so it will be fine enough both for V60 and espresso moving forward in the future. That is going to be coming up late here in 2021 so be on the lookout for that either by an upgraded model or if you have the older model you can just put new burrs in. They make it super easy to do that. And two, they are designing a new lid for the catch bin to help compact the amount of static because a lot of people have been complaining about that so it's two biggest issues could possibly be solved in the not too distant future so if those are two things that are, are scaring you away from upgrading the fellow ode just wait maybe there's gonna be an upgraded version coming out shortly which is awesome i'm still a huge fan of fellow products uh, i think they make amazing very durable beautiful looking product so just wait until late 2021 early 2022 when it's got the upgraded burrs a new catch lid and a few other minor upgrades that are going to take this grinder to the next level and possibly make it the perfect at home grinder well i think that pretty much sums up my review on the fellow ode grinder for today ultimately i'm a huge fan of this grinder i know the price tag is a little bit hefty but considering some of the other more expensive grinders like the niche out there it's actually not too bad, and I would argue that it is one of the best options for drip or filtered coffee at home. It's got amazing quality burrs, almost commercial level. They're extremely powerful. It's quick, it's quiet, very simplistic to use. It's got that automatic on off stop. It's got a cool little knocker thing here, which is awesome to help knock some of the grounds back out to make sure you're getting the perfect dosing. It's going to give you consistent grinds and it is instantly going to help you up your coffee game. You're going to take your coffee game to the next level, which is what I love. That's what I look for in home brewing equipment. Is this piece of gear going to take me from one level to the next level? And I can confidently say that the fellow oak grinder is going to help take you to the next level. And for that reason, I highly recommend it. The only reason I wouldn't recommend it is if you are into espresso. So if that's your dedicated drink of choice for at home, then maybe pass on the fellow ode for now. There are some updates coming, but if drip pour over coffee is your jam, 
the fellow ode is a great grinder for you to get i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comments below whether you have a fellow ode on your bar you're looking at getting a fellow ode uh whether you would recommend the fellow ode to other coffee drinkers i'd love to chat in the comments below all about this bad boy or other amazing grinders in the market if you guys like today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button to join this coffee loving community my name is caitlin i am a specialty craft coffee roaster from serrano and my whole goal is to help you guys start drinking better coffee at home i'll offer my tips my tricks my recipes answer any of your questions wherever i can so hit that subscribe button and join the community as always thank you guys so much for watching and remember drink better coffee at home cheers y'all